okay so first we'll revise what we have studied in the previous class we have studied two types of sound waves interference of sound waves one was constructive constructive and other was destructive in constructive we saw that it was the phase difference was delta x is equal to what and lambda that is even multiples of lambda but for destructive it was delta x is equal to 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 into what lambda that is it is the odd multiples of lambda so this is the difference between constructive and destructive interface so a trick with the words come अगर कहीं पे भी मेरे पास पाथ डिफरेंस अगर लैमडा है तो फेस डिफरेंस हमेशा याद रखना वो डबल होगा अगर लैमडा बाई टू है तो फेस डिफरेंस होगा पाई ये पाई के टर्म्स में आ जाएगा इट मीन्स दैट ऑलवेज पाथ डिफरेंस पाथ डिफरेंस अगर गिवन है दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू फेस डिफरेंस वेन वेन विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू अ फेस डिफरेंस वेन we multiply it by 2 also we replace lambda to pi that will be a phase difference clear it will be a phase difference clear today we will start with a new topic today we will start with a new topic of sound wave that is standing waves in sound that is organ pipes what is that that is a standing waves in sound बेसिकली इसको ऑर्गन पाइप्स भी बोलते हैं स्टैंडिंग वेव्स इन साउंड और ऐसे इट इज एन ऑर्गन पाइप ऑर्गन पाइप सो व्हाट इज दिस बेसिकली एक ऑर्गन पाइप क्या होता है जैसे पाइप है जहाँ पे एक मीडियम है साउंड को ट्रैवल करने का एक मीडियम है क्लियर है इसमें दो तरह के ऑर्गन पाइप हम पढ़ते हैं इसमें हम दो तरह के ऑर्गन पाइप पढ़ते हैं पहला होता है ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप फर्स्ट इज ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप फर्स्ट इज ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप इसमें क्या होता है ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप में ऐसा कुछ पाइप होता है दिस टाइप ऑफ पाइप लाइक एन आई वेर जो ये जो लेंथ है दैट इज लेंथ एल एंड दिस इज द अफेक्टिव लेंथ ई एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस इज अ प्रेशर नोड दिस इज अ प्रेशर नोड क्लियर फॉर दिस लेंथ ऑल्सो स्ट्रिंग फिक्स ऑन बोथ एंड इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रिंग फिक्स ऑन बोथ एंड लाइक दिस इज ऑल्सो एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ओपन ऑर्गन पाइप लाइक दिस विल बी टाइप ऑफ दिस वन where we'll say 2f not will be its frequency like this is an open organ pipe so is condition mein pehla hota hai jo frequency hota hai that is always v by 2l dusra jitna bhi iska harmonic frequency hoga wo ya to hoga f not ya to hoga 2f not ya to hoga 3f not and so on this is what this is an f not this is what this is all the harmonics that are possible this is the possible harmonics and the next one is if we need to find the pth overtone if we need to find the pth overtone pth overtone in this case it is p plus 1 f not why because 1 2 3 so we are adding 1 and 1 so on the next type of organ pipe is next type of organ pipe is closed organ pipe next type of organ pipe is closed organ pipe what is a closed organ pipe basically so a closed organ pipe is some type of like this you can denote it it is closed on both ends right this is a closed organ pipe so over here the frequency you can say f not is a frequency and this this length is the effective e effectiveness of it in this case the frequency is f not is equals to in that case it was v by 2l in this case it is v by 4l second 
all the harmonics over here will be an odd harmonics will not be an even harmonics it will be f 3f 5f so this is an even harmonics so if someone comes and tells me to find the pth overtone of this what will the pth overtone so it will be what it will be 2p plus 1 f naught this is the pth overtone 2 plus p plus 1 f naught is the pth overtone of an closed organ pipe now I show you one thing like this was a pipe you can say let me say in this case I told you that this is a length L and this is the end and that is effective length also you can say end so what is this in this case if sometimes if the end correction is needed if sometime if the end correction is needed then what do we do at this point what do we do at this point for the end correction the fundamental frequency one for the open organ pipe it becomes as f naught is equals to v by 2 l plus 2e y 2e because on the both sides and for the closed organ pipes it becomes as f naught is equals to v by 4 l plus e v by 4 l plus e for the closed and this is for the open and basically it is a universal value that e is equals to 0 0.6 times of r where r is what r is the radius of the pipe r is the radius of pipe i hope it's clear okay now let's do a question let's do one of a question question is organ pipe of length 10 meter has a standing wave what is the length length is 10 meter has a standing wave which is making seven loops it is making seven loops in its pressure wave if the velocity of the sound is 340 meter per second find the frequency of the vibration i need to find the frequency what is the number of loop number of loop is seven then what will the frequency what type of pipe it is it is an organ pipe like I need to find the frequency let me say let's find the frequency for a pipe open at both end so it will be f is equal to n f naught and it is what 7 f naught and we know n v by 2 l for what for for what type of pipe for an open pipe so we'll find we we'll get frequency as 7 into v is 340 by 2 into 10 we get it as 119 hertz the SI unit of frequency is hertz clear now the next heading is a resonance tube you might have come across this heading very frequently resonance tube what does it mean a condition occurs of resonance when the frequency when the frequency at all the levels are equals you can say right and the frequency is equal this is a condition of a resonance like a tuning fork you might have seen a tuning fork like if there is a fork if we make sound of that fork right what it tunes it's a tunes this type of fork is there if I hit this fork it will tune so this is for the resonance frequency if I will tell V by 4 L1 this is frequency of what tuning fork because tuning fork is what close at both end I'll close this at both end let me say this type okay so this one and after this if I apply L1 something different if I consider L1 as something different this will be the first resonance occurring this will be the first resonance and after this if I consider another L1 this is be the second resonance second resonance so this will be the second resonance so if someone tells me what is the condition of resonance the value of n is what to find the number of resonance there is 2n minus 1 is the value of resonance now the next heading is beats next heading is beats what a beat is when two sound waves of slightly different frequencies are produced together at same point then the resultant intensity of sound at that point 
changes with time in a periodic manner this phenomenon is known as beat i hope you understood now i'll show you what it is whenever we are making two sound by two different source not from a single source and from the same point the sounds are made made by the same point but what resultant intensity at that particular point changes this is a type of beat so number of times a higher intensity is heard it's called beat frequency so therefore the beat if someone tells me to find the beat frequency then the value of this beat frequency is given as mod of f1 minus f2 why did i put a mod sign because it will always be positive it is always a positive value it can't be a negative value also sometimes it is told to find the time period of beat that is the beat period which is given as t is equals to 1 by f1 minus f2 this is the beat period 1 by f1 minus f2 now please write down a note please there is a note when a tuning fork is loaded with wax then its frequency decreases when a tuning fork is loaded with wax remember when it is loaded then what frequency will decrease and when it when it is filled then its frequency increases there is a difference between two terms one is loaded and one is filled if it is loaded frequency will decrease and if it is filled then frequency will increase the last topic for the sound wave is doppler effect doppler effect so basically what this is i'll tell you doppler effect there are two things whenever a sound is heard there are two things one is source and one is the one is the observer you can say and one is the source right there are two things observer and source right so in doppler effect we find an apparent frequency what apparent frequency is due to relative motion relative motion of sources relative motion of source the apparent frequency is f dash is equals to f not c minus v not divided upon c minus v s now i'll tell you what this f dash and f not is basically this f dash is what this f dash is nothing but it it is an apparent frequency it is an apparent frequency and this f not is a frequency that is emitted by the source so i can say that this is a source frequency this is a source frequency and this is what this is a velocity of observer velocity of observer and this is velocity of source this is velocity of source so nothing but doppler effect just tells us about the relative motion between the two that is source and the observer for a sound wave and the apparent frequency is given as what it is given as f dash is equals to f not c minus v not divided by c minus v s now this sign convention this sign convention depends upon the motion of the objects that is observer and the source so i'll write it down that the sign convention depends upon the relative motion of the objects relative motion of objects this is the sign convention like it's simple as the mathematical coordinates if i am moving in the right direction it will be positive and if i move in the left direction it will be negative simple or you can consider the coordinates according to your own also so that it the answer will be, be same in all the cases so what will be the doppler effect in wavelength what will the doppler effect in wavelength doppler effect in wavelength in wavelength the doppler effect will be lambda dash is equals to c minus vs by f dot 
दिस इज द अपेरेंट वेवलेंथ दिस इज द अपेरेंट वेवलेंथ एंड एफ नॉट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी सो जस्ट दिस वन दिस रिलेशन यू नीड टू नो एंड इट्स ऑल डन सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड साउंड वेव दिस लेक्चर वॉज वेरी शॉर्ट बिकॉज ओनली सम पार्ट ऑफ साउंड वेव साउंड वेव वॉज लेफ्ट दैट वॉज टोटली डिपेंडेंट अपॉन फॉर्मूला सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ के टी जी एंड थर्मोडाइनमिक्स के टी जी रेफर्स टू कैनेटिक थ्योरी ऑफ गैसेस